What's up YouTube, it's Nick. It's been a while since I made a video, so I thought I'd give you an update on the MetaWatch since I just released MetaWatch version 1.4 and the new app that corresponds with it. So I've got with me my Galaxy S3 and the watch in front of me. We'll pull up the app first. I've got a mirror finish screen protector on my phone, so I don't know how well this is gonna work for the video, but I'm hoping you guys can see it okay. All right, so we've got the clock, weather widget, phone battery in stock, and these are all in perfect working order, as you can see. I've just got Google pulled up as an example, but you can punch in any company. Comes default with Apple. One of the other things I added is the full screen clock. So as you can see on the watch, it updated. And this is the standard one. However, you now have the option to, if you tap in this and go to the settings, you have four different watch faces. So you've got the original one with the koi fish, this new one that's got the MetaWatch logo and a more digital look. And then there's this one that is uh, Eastern Script. So if you're into that, you've got a couple options available. I'm not 100% sure on this, but I'm pretty sure that you can do more customizability if you're a programmer and you get a hold like the SDK and things like that. So um, if you are into that sort of thing, give it a go. If not, these are the ones that they've got available and that's at least a couple and they're talking about adding more very soon. As for 1.4, some of the music features do work. I don't know how much music I actually have on my phone. But when I hit the play button, we get the headphone logo in the corner there indicating that there's something attempting to be playing. So I've just got unknown artists on here, so I don't have anything cataloged. But anyhow, we've, we're getting some of the functionality from that, which is pretty exciting. So I'll go ahead and back out of that. But uh, that's pretty much it. I've seen a little bit better battery life um, with all the different widgets running that I've got on that main page. It has to ping the app a few times to get updates on that, which can uh, uh, affect the battery, impact the battery life. But the, uh, like I said, it's improved instead of getting you know, two days and then absolutely needing a charge to getting three days plus and having no problems. So we're uh, seeing improvements. So keep it up, man. Watch, love it, and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and leave comments if you have any questions. Thanks.